everybody, this is not a spring chick, and welcome. It's the first day of spring, and just to celebrate, oh, wait, the president's putting up his climate change website, and just ironically, half of the baseball stadiums in the country are filled with snow. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Trophies? Yeah. Yeah, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they said today. They said that the president is showing how presidential he is in foreign policy. The Obamacare is working far better than anyone could have imagined. And the Republicans are basically running on the same issues that they've been running on for years that don't work. The only problem what would is, that be? Yeah, I know that basically get rid of Obamacare, cut taxes, do this, do that. The Democrats, so... They said the Democrats are running on, they're running away from Obamacare, but they're wanting higher taxes on people making bit, making anything, and they're wanting more rules, more restriction, they're pounding climate change on you, just one thing after another. The Democrats are running on the same things that they can't win on, but that doesn't make any difference. That's why we got three Obama out today, folks, because it's the first day of spring, and on the first day of spring, the President of the United States decided to open his government website on climate change. They said, as of the moment, 50% of all of the baseball stadiums in the United States have snow on the ground, including states in warm areas, and they're expecting it may snow out opening day this year. Mm -hmm. And Obama says no U.S. intervention for any reason in the Ukraine. You know what Lee what Obama just said? He said as soon as Obama made that statement this morning, it looks like Moldova now is now going to be put, uh, annexed into the Soviet Union. Things that used to be Soviet uh, parts of the Soviet Empire, they're taking back one by one because the President of the United States is totally... I mean, they, the means the, um, the Iranians are going to move. It basically gave a go-ahead to the Iranians, to the North Koreans. I mean, we got, I think, the one person said, one of the comics said last night, he said, I think a dictatorship in South America is planning to take over California now. Mm -hmm. And John Kerry to Russia, you lost the Cold War, get over it. He's totally clueless. I mean, okay, how, how much this is affecting him? He's not dyeing his hair now, and his bo the Botox he did to his face is starting to weather very badly. Because he really didn't expect that he'd have to do anything as Secretary of State. <laughs> because he thought, well, I'll be Secretary of State and I can run for president because of my great accomplishments. Let's see, well, he's lost the Ukraine. He's going to probably lose South, uh, South um, Korea and he's going to lose parts of uh, the Middle East. It's so, not a very good record. No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Remember what, what, uh, what, what, what was it, the foreign policy that they ran on? Yeah, foreign policy, which is a reset. Because George Bush has caused so much problems in the world, well, now people are wishing George Bush was president instead. How do you know that Obama's in trouble? George Bush's ratings are better than Obama's. So yeah, that's sure. when you're in trouble. And the Democrats are running away from him like he's got the plague. And what the polls tell us about the 2014 midterm elections? That it's going to be a massacre. They said that, um, that one of the people said they got to take the advice that, um, that, that Chris Matthews gave the President of the United States on, uh, on the first election. Just shut your mouth, go on vacation for six weeks and you'll win the election. All the Republicans have to do is do what the pundits say don't do. Mm -hmm. Pundits say don't do, don't, you know, you have to get out there and, and give them a vision. Mm -hmm. Well, no, the Obama vision, the Democrats vision is so horrible. If you do nothing but shut your mouth and just, you know, go have a good time. Well, I'm running for the office. I mean, like, they're, like the Democrats are pointing out, well, they got a person running in a, in a district that's not voted Republican in 110 years that basically is to the right of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they said, then they're basically using that person as an example of the Republican extremist. No, they, they don't vote. It's basically a 99% Democratic turnout in the election. It never votes Republicans. So you get rid of your loonies in that area because the only people that are going to come out in the Republican Party are way to the right in an area you can't win. <coughs> and Argentina accuses the U.S. and U.K. of hypocrisy over Crimea. Yeah, because they're doing nothing. They, they
they uh, basically are saying, well, we're, we don't, they, they did uh, Obama's reset, we're going to reset relations with the, with the Russians, and he, uh, instead of what happens, Obama loses one country to the Russians, he's going to lose a second to the Russians. Russians and they're going to take over the whole of Ukraine. They think that Georgia, uh, here's what they said, uh, NATO, the military, because I got a Pentagon thing, NATO has said it's not uh, when he's going to strike next, it's just how many countries he's going to decide that Obama is going to give to him. I know, that's the bad part about it. And Ben Laden, son-in-law, unexpectedly testifies at his U.S. trial. Because he got to condemn the United States. Which Obama said would never happen. What? That he would condemn the United The Justice United States? Department said this would never be done, never used as a, as putting the United States on trial. Well, you gave the guy an opportunity with his person, his lawyer, to condemn the United States and their killing of Muslims and their this and their mm -hmm. that. Uh, Obama and Eric Holder said this would not happen. And exactly what everybody knew. They told Obama, they forbid Obama from doing this, and Obama just did it anyway because they, what did Free Obama said? Obama doesn't give a rent. Okay, uh, this is exactly for all of you people who will sit there and censor a bit. Why should we pay, to a, pay any attention to a person who has basically pooped on your Constitution and yeah. doesn't give a damn about what it says? We're, I know. We don't, we're not, we're not bothered that by that person at all. And final words came, um, from JET came after system shut down. And basically, the plane could not have flown like they said it. Well, it flew. It zigzagged all on its own after the pilots and everybody was dead. They see, according to the thing, after they had died, they put it on, before they died, they put it on a, a, pl a, a, a change of course. Then they said 20 some minutes later, they, they said, you know, goodbye. And then the plane flew on and zigzagged and stuff after smoke filled the cabin and killed everybody. Then it did another course change and flew 2,000 miles off the coast of Australia. Anybody want to bet if they find something that is probably from, an, uh, from the airliner that's been destroyed from whatever purpose they, they used it to simply do two things. One, they found out the holes that all these countries have in their systems. Two, they basically made a spectacle of the entire world for two weeks. Mm -hmm. What better propaganda that we can make the, all these countries dance like puppets on a string anytime we want. And carry angered by Israeli ministers' sharp criticism. Well, it was even worse than, you can't say what, the, what Netanyahu said about Kerry. Basically, they somewhat inferred that Kerry would like mm -hmm. to go down on people and the Muslim, and, you know, and his Muslim friends allow it. I know. Can you believe they said that? That he's gay, and they don't believe in gay gay, gay rights do not exist in that part of the world, folks. And airlines scale back Venezuela operations report. Yeah, because they're getting ready to go into a civil war. Oh, I remember. It was they think that the the, the head of the, the president of Venezuela to show how powerful he is is going to send uh, his mother-in-law and his grandmother to seize control of the state of the California. And then expect Obama, and expect Eric Holder will meet him at the at the uh, at the airport, and that he will escort them with their demands that Governor Brown turn the state over to the Venezuelan government, and that the United States will support their efforts. But they will condemn them when they do it, though. And White House losing pastry chef Bill Yosses in June. Oh yeah, because Michelle Obama thinks that that it's wrong to be serving foreign dignitaries things that they want instead. She's going wants to have healthy stuff served to the people coming to our country. They still need a pastry chef. Not anymore. <laughs> the pastry chef, they're not going to serve pastries because they're not healthy and because, uh, you know, they can eat their, they can have stuff like for a Super Bowl party that they said would kill an elephant, but you're not going to serve it to foreign heads of state or other dignitaries because we need to show that we are healthy in our country and they need to eat it. I mean, what happens is, I, I love it, they said that he could picture this at a White House dinner, a big 50-gallon trash can, and that the foreign heads of state and the guests walking by the trash can, like students that basically don't like their food program at school, and scraping everything off into the trash can and leaving. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism for the March Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, as the president is discovering that in some days you're better off to do staying in bed.